kana au ya kwa uri achichema kwamba mtu akikuja kwako akiwa na kilio ni chano chemera na ile jambo ambalo analilia ye munu ye yoyo ano ano pi wacha hari kuchemea huyo mtu inafaa apewe ile jambo ambalo analilia nokuti anenga achirwadzi kwa sababu yeye atakuwa na uchungu tuko na changamoto tele sana kusomesha watoto vile tumesema kwamba kuenda hospitali popote pale unapotembea unatembea ukiwa na wasiwasi kwa sababu utaulizwa wewe ni nani ujitambulishe tuko hai lakini tumekufa kwa maana hatuna kitambulisho tunaonekana lakini sisi ni kina nani mimi mkiniuliza kwetu sicho mimi nimezaliwa hapa na wazee wetu wa Kongo wote wengi kimowazika hapa chini mimi nataka haki yangu nipewe na wakenya My name is uh, Michael Tshuma and I just live here at Gedorai 44 to be precise. And uh, I am a Shona born under the Shona community and as per this juncture we have been living in Kenya stateless without an ID. Kuwa hapa kwetu Kenya ni sisi tumejipata tukiwa hapa Kenya. Kulingana na vile tulisema wazazi wetu walikuja early 60 61 hao ndio waliweza kutembeza injili kutoka kule sehemu za Afrika Kusini wakipanda Zimbabwe Tanzania mpaka wakafika Kenya sisi tunaita wa Zambia sababu so, wote wazee wote walitokea pande za Zambia wakija hapa sasa jina lao hasa wanasemekana ni wa Zambia na wakati huo ulikuwa wakati mgumu sana sababu Kenya ilikuwa kwa harakati za emergency hawakukua na ile uhuru zaidi wa kusambaza neno na ile njia wangefaa kusambaza nalo lakini 1973 75 waliweza kuonana na hayati mzee Jomo Kenyatta yeye ndiye aliwalaki huko wakaenda na kuru wakaonana wakasema tumekuja kuhubiri neno la Mwenyezi Mungu hapo ndo walipewa uhuru wa kwamba tunawapokea sasa uhusiano hapo ndio ulianza na ndio wakati mwingi tunaelezea kwamba e, tatizo moja ni kwamba ukiwa na rafiki yako e, umezoeana na yeye hakuna siku utaota ndoto za kwamba mtakosana na yule ama mta, mta, mtaachana na yule rafiki yako. Sasa hapo ndio ugonjwa wa kutokuukua na stakabadhi ulitokea. Kwa sababu wazazi wetu walikuwa wakien, wakiuliza kitu chochote kwa serikali ya Kenyata walikuwa wanajibiwa kwa njia nzuri sana kusema kweli vile nimekufafanua kwanza kwamba mimi nilikuwa na ile ile kitabu ile ile nikaj mimi nilikuwa nafanya vitu yote hata ikiwa ni post bank nilikuwa napeleka ka shilingi nipewe na sainiwa pale hata mimi na saini wakuwa najua sasa mimi niko na kitambili tangu wakati za moi sasa hizo vitu zikafungwa lakini hizi sasa tulikuwa tunafanya wakati za Kenyatta kwa sababu wazee watu walipewa wale ambao walikuwa wako na amri ya kwamba sasa umetosha kwa 18 years unapewa hiyo kitu kusimamia ilikuwa kitambilisho ndio ilikuwa inatumika kabisa sasa wakati ilifungwa ikawa sasa ni ndio mwisho kufa tu kwa mzee Jomo Kenyatta ikawa sasa ndio kama kulitokea mpasuko wa shida zetu tukaingia kwa shida moja ambaye sisi watoto sasa tulijipata tukiwa kwa tabu kubwa sababu wazazi wengi walikuwa wameshaanza kuenda tukajipata kuwa tuko kwa katika matatizo makubwa sana ambao hatukujielewa tulijipata namna gani kwa nchi hii na hizi shida zinatokea wapi sasa matatizo mengi yalitupata watu wanakufa kwa magonjwa sasa njia ya kupata vitambulisho kupeleka watu hospitali hakuna kushikwa ndiko huko lika vizuri wakati ya, ya mzee Jomo Kenyatta. Vile Jomo Kenyatta akatoka kukaingia moyo. Hapo tikakaa tukaanza kushikwa juu ya kitambilisho. Hatuna. 
Mimi ni ninaitwa Sara Muregerera. Nimezaliwa hapa Kiamba. Nimezaliwa mwaka wa 1968. Nimekaolewa na huyu mzee. Kifika nitapata mtoto wa kwanza, wa pili sasa ndio hiyo mimba tulishikwa nikiwa nayo. 1990. Eh 23 Oktoba. So tukashikwa, tukapelekwa Kikuyu Police Station kwa 3 days uko katolewa kapelekwa langata prison women kaka uko almost one week ngajifungua lakini jeans nilipo nilivojifungua ilikuwa uchungu mkubwa sana sababu penye nilipitia ilikuwa tabu e, sasa nikapelekwa Kenyatta hospital ngajifungua uko nikaka nikarudishwa kwa prison nikakaa kama siku tatu hivi ya nne mtoto akagonjeka kakuwa yellow fever nikarudishwa tena hospitali ya Kenyatta nikakaa huko seven days nikaa siku saba huko mtoto akatibiwa akapona nikaruhusiwa lakini wakati nilikuwa pale kwa ward kuna shida nilikuwa napata ya chakula kama mfungwa venye anakuwa mfungwa anaruhusiwa kukula chakula ya serikali e, nilikuwa na kuna watu walikuwa wananihurumia wanipatie chakula lakini walikuwa wanakatazwa e, so nikakaa hapo mpaka Mungu akasaidia mtoto akapona ikaruhusiwa kuenda nikarudishwa tena kule kwa prison. So nikaenda tukakaa. Huyo mtoto alikuliwa na chawa sana. Sana sana alikuliwa na chawa. Hata tukitoka siku ya kumaliza kwake mwezi wa kuzaliwa ndio tulitoka kwa prison. Huyo mtoto akagonjeka akakuwa hata hizi kucha zake zilianguka na, na upere kwa sababu ya kuumwa na chawa. Wenzangu walikufiwa na watoto. Akitoka tu watoto wanaisha. Juu ya njaa ya huko na kuumwa na chawi. Kama vile sasa ukipelekwa hospitali ile kuu kabisa ina ndio sasa zinatakana mabarua. Wanakuta tena wanasema sisi wageni namna hiyo. Ukipeleka pale sasa bili yako inakuwa kubwa kuliko wenyeji inasema wasemwe wa Kenyans sababu so, sasa wao wanakutambua kama wao ni mgeni tu Tunaona kama wamama wakati nilikuwa napata watoto Nikitaka kuenda nimebeba mimba niende clinic Nikitaka kuandikisha ile kadi na ulizo ID na sina nilichomeka nikiwa one and a half years um tuko tumeenda church kutembea then saile unatembea tembea kitchen is for nikachomeka so sio kuchomeka nilika like parents hawako na hizo documents za kunipeleka usi then after like three months niko kwa nyumba ni ma first aid na hivyo nika sasa after tumetoka chasi tulirudi huko nikapelekwa hosi na na mtoto alikuwa mtoto wa landlord wa shosho yangu eh akanipeleka hosi alafu nikafanya treatment sasa like ni aikwa that singefanya surgery ya dada kwa naibu most of the institutions they require a birth certificate and in Kenya there is no way you can get a birth certificate when your parent does not have an identification card. Niko na mtoto msichana mimi. Amesoma, amesoma, amesoma. Amefika kiwango cha kwamba anatakana afike form 4. Penye panahitajika birth certificate. Mimi babake sina. So when I wanted to go to secondary school, it was a recommendation for you to be admitted to secondary school for for you to be admitted to a secondary school. So I had to settle down think of other things other than going to school because now i had i had no other option when i was in form 
kulikuwa na program that kuna watu wanataka kupata scholarship when they were say so I was among those who are shortlisted because walikuwa naangalia grade at that time nilikuwa na A minus so because nikakumbuka rakati za ID passport but certificate I didn't have the required documents so nikamwa tu kujitoa my parents had no money so I had to drop out because uh, they didn't have identification so as to help them get job nilisomea shule iko hapa juu lakini class class nilifika class 3 sababu ya mapato ya wazazi when i get my ad my vision is that i'll be able to go to the university and pursue my career i want to be a financial engineer wengine wangekuwa ma watu wa magazeti wengine wangekuwa madaktari kulingana na dreams zao kulingana na maisha yao na dreams zao zile wanazo wanataka pia wangefikia kuwa ma pilot being here since 1960s up to now this community have been lending mtu anakaa hapa na rent hapa huku hivyo hivyo lakini najisikia sasa na miaka na nguvu zinaenda zikisha nikifikiria nikiwa nimekaa makwangu hivi hii maisha Ah, and the scale chungu sang. Like in your tea, you make it a village. Young cat is the little Baboe to Alpuja, Ilkua, Fadaru, Alkua, Mze, Jomkinata, Anna, Urus, Anna, Anna, Rusia, Kununua, Ard, Sasa, Kuna, Katu, Mefika, Eka, Komesha, Yotabia, Sasa, Kuna, Shida, Zakuishi, Wakatu Mungine, Mutana, Toluana, Toto, Lala, Inji, Akikosa, Pesa, Yakulipa, Maltuna, Pelekanga, is the V2. Kama tumeenda kupeleka hizi vitu mkifika asolini kikataa mkishindwa kupeana hizi vitu kama ni roging unahitaji ID inabakia pia uwezi rara kwa roging unaenda tu narara kama ni kwa hoteli ukiwa pale ukiwa umestrand kama ni kesho usubuhi uendelee na shughuli <laughs> Sisi ni waumini, lakini tunajitegemea kazi ya mukono. Huwa sisi wanaume tunafanya useremara. Kuna hii kazi ya mianzi, wanaenda kukata mianzi, wanashuka vikapu na viti ya, ya kuketi. Na kuna wale wanafanya kazi ya tins, tinsmith, ndo, gutters. Hiyo ndio kazi huwa sisi tunafanya ambayo hiyo ndio imetilinda kufika mpaka waleo. Kama sasa hivi niko na workshop. Lakini hiyo workshop ni kama mchezo wa paka na panya na kanjo. Nikijua tu kanjo amekuja nafunga mlango. Kwa sababu akikuja hapo sina sitakabadhi ya kuonyesha kwamba mimi nina staili kuwa na hiyo workshop. Inabidi nifunge kwanza kanjo aende. Jua akikuja wanakuja kubeba tusu zote. Kama ni tenda umepata mahali kuingiza hizi vitu zako Unaambiwa lazima ukwe na sijui ni PIN, KRA, utaitoa wapi. So inabake hii opportunity imepotelea. Unaenda mahali ngino naambiwa kando na hii kazi, unazafanya kazi, eh. Kama ni kitu kama driving license, awezi chukua bila ID. So inabake ya tu mimi ni hapa, pia mtoto yangu tu, bado atakuja wapi. Kwa zisina njia ingine yoyote ya kupata hiyo kitu. Tunamda sana, tukilia, na sauti zetu, hazikuwa zinasikika. Tumejaribwa kuongea na authorities. Kila mara tunambiwa, tumesikia neno lenu, tukonalo. Tutawashulikia, tutawajibu. If there is anything more valuable, if there is anything you can fight and feel your fault for anything, is when you fight, you fight for this community. Nyumbani wazazi ndi walitoka. Sasa sisi wenyewe hatukujui. Utaenda kuanzia wapi? Mimi, ile kitu ni naiwomba hapa Kenya kwa sirikari. Ili wanipatie tu kitambilisho. Niwe kama au wengine. Sababu mimi ni, ni meka mwaka mingi hapa. Kitambilisho tu. After college, I was not able to get employment. I was not able even to go beyond Nairobi. Beyond Kino, it's, it's a bit hard. Because even within Nairobi, sometimes it's hard working without an ID. Tumeteseka kwa mdamre mingi sana. Kwa mdamrefu sana. Hata matatizo mengine uwezi kuyahilezea vizuri. Kama ni kuenda kukaa jera, ni sawa. 
nikiwa mbele ya Mungu. Tu si kufanya chochote, si kutusi moto. Kama ni hiyo tu ID, Mungu atafanya mapenzi yake. We can't call them Shona anymore because these people from birth they have been born here. Kitinya tunaomba ni uraia wa Kenya tuhesabiwe pia kama wa Kenya. Washona wote wahesabiwe kama wa Kenya juu wamekaa sana Kenya miaka hawana sisi tumezaliwa sisi ni vizazi vya Kenya vizazi tu kujulikana yeye amezaliwa Kenya lakini kinachokutambulisha ni kitambulisho cha kutambulisha huna we ni mkenya raia wa kutembea but uraia hauna